welcome to my channel welcome to my channel i'm lee manaka everywhere yes. <laughs> i'm gonna tell you guys a story about why i started my youtube channel now a lot of people start their youtube channels because they obviously want to become popular or famous or social media is basically what they want so i'm just basically like the, hence the reason why i'm so comfortable right now i'm on the couch i am i've got my blankie I've got my blankie so um i'm just like trying to let you guys know the reason why i started my youtube channel so um let's start by saying um i used to actually start posting stuff that i love or i love doing being singing being dancing being interior design you know i used to love posting it on social media and basically see the reaction um and you know what i liked the attention um you know it might like it might not be a lot of attention i mean i know my levels of being able to sing i know my levels of being able to dance i know my levels of everything i've always considered myself more of an average at everything <laughs> which is which will be explained a little more while i speak so the reason i started my youtube channel is because i am on a journey <laughs> at the moment um a journey where I am trying to kind of figure out who I am um, because my entire life I've actually been more of a person who wanted to impress other people if you understand um, I've always been more of a people pleaser I've always been more of a shy person and you know just recently being this year um, I've had quite a close friend ask me um, why am I shy and I've never actually thought about it why am I shy you know and then I started thinking about it a lot so um, I started a YouTube channel to just try figure out myself you know because I've always loved singing I've always loved dancing you know this YouTube channel was never just about singing. I'm not trying to be a famous singer. Um, yes, I am recording music, but it's because I love it. It's not, at the moment, it's not so I can uh, sell records or whatever. I'm not trying to be the next lady Zama. I mean, she's amazing. I love her, but I'm not trying to be her. I'm basically trying to have my own identity through the things that I love. You know, it's crazy not actually listening to people's, um, um, what's the word? People's <laughs> comments, people's, um, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot the word. But yeah, I, I've never been the type of person who's been able to accept compliments. There we go. <laughs> so I'm very bad at accepting compliments. Like, I'm this kind of person where I can literally sit alone. And at one point, I can say, oh my God, I've got an amazing voice. Oh my God, I dance so well. Oh my God, I'm so beautiful. You know what? Yay. And I say all those things to myself in this moment. Then in another moment, I could literally say, okay, no, I sound so weird when I sing though. Or I say, but why am I dancing like that? Well, mm. Or I say, mm, but like, mm. you know, your face, you look weird and stuff like that. So I think that's, that's it's more my inner voice that's actually been okay with taking food from those negative people and not from the positive ones it's just like now um i've actually gained weight <laughs> yeah so i used to be quite skinny and crazy thing is i've always had a big issue with my body very big issue with my body um but i think i've had a big issue with a lot of things because I've had a big issue with my body and when I was skinny I still had an issue with my body now that I've gained weight I still have an issue with my body but you know obviously I'm learning 
so it's becoming a thing where I'm kind of okay more okay with my body than I was when I was skinny but I think it's also because I'm at the place where I am right now and I am figuring out myself <laughs> what is going on so yeah I hope this all makes sense because I'm just talking I'm at a point right now where I'm trying to backtrack it's almost 20 years actually that I'm trying to backtrack to see what happened and what I can change but the most painful thing is that it becomes harder when you're trying to take away everything that's kind of making you who you are not supposed to be you know um, I've become a person where I was basically other people's personalities because I was trying to impress them and now because I was trying to impress them I'm not myself so now tra trying to take away all those personalities is it's a painful process hence the reason why I am trying to be more out there I am trying to show the world who I am and trying to show anybody who's close to me who I am as well there's so many things that I still want to do in my life and I want to make sure that it's something I want to do because when I was younger I literally I wanted to be a singer I wanted to be a dancer I wanted to be an actress I wanted to be a um, presenter I don't know if I'm missing anything from this list. Oh yeah, I wanted to be interior designer, I wanted to be a painter, I wanted to be a drawer. And the fact of the matter is, all of these things, the, all these seven things, I am actually good at them. I am actually good at them. But the problem is, because I've always had these voices inside my head telling me that I'm average, I think that I'm average at all of them. So basically, all I'm saying is that this YouTube channel is basically, just like the bio says, it's not for you, <laughs> it is kind of for you to get to know me, but it's it's more for me. I am, I'm not trying to become famous, <laughs> I am not trying to win an Oscar, I'm not trying to do anything weird, like there's no ulterior motive. Literally, my ulterior motive is for me to become better, like for me to become me. That's it. And I'm okay with. Hence, the reason why um, I've left the views on. Hence, the reason I've left the likes and dislikes on, and the comments on. I don't filter my comments, except um, automatically it filters if there is spam. But all the comments that come through to my um, YouTube, I let them go or come up or like be shown to everyone because the thing is, I don't want people to think, okay, no, 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 let's say it another way. <laughs> I don't want to be filtering stuff for myself as much as I can listen to my own song, I can listen to my own cover and think it's amazing this one day the next day it's very very highly likely that I will hate it and I have this thing where I have quite a few uh, cover videos on my YouTube um, I used to have I used to use um, what's it called Smule that uh, karaoke app I think it's Smule Smule or Smule uh, I call it Smule because yeah but I used to have that and I used to sing on it so many times because I love singing there's no way I will stop singing you know what the entire world could tell me I can't sing I'm still gonna sing I don't care because the thing is I love it and since I love it best thing I can do for myself is try to improve so that I love my own voice and you know what I'm at a point where I already do I mean, I've always loved my voice. It's just that these moments, I know I need voice training. Perfect. Anyway, um, a lot of the things is stuff that I'm working on. So basically, the YouTube channel is just for me to realize myself and to appreciate myself. Um, I love, oh my God, 
The people who say to me that they love my stuff, whether you're being sarcastic or not, you know, I, I will never know whether you're being sarcastic because I genuinely accept your comments as good comments. And I will take them in because, you know, what, I accept them as good comments. If you're being sarcastic, that's on you. That's obviously your own things that you need to deal with and I'm okay with it. Because I understand that somebody who is able to diss somebody, somebody who is able to um, talk about somebody else behind their back and make jokes about somebody behind their back, is somebody who's obviously not happy with themselves. So I am not angry with anybody who talks about me behind my back. Literally, you could like my video, you could comment on my video nice, you could do anything and then still talk about me behind my back. I don't care. Even if I find out about it, I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm an emotional person, yes, I will probably cry about it one day. Like, literally one day. It will probably be a full, like, an entire day of me crying because I'm that kind of person. But me crying allows me to get over it. It allows me to process that, you know what, this person is clearly not the person that I thought they were. They don't genuinely, genuinely like me and they don't genuinely like what I do. Which is fine. I don't need everybody to do that. I really don't. I prefer honesty, but if you want to lie, <laughs> it's your life. I'm just trying to do me. So, this YouTube channel is basically just going to be about my growth. Um, so, there will be a lot of me singing. Um, my dancing videos are usually on my Instagram. Or, I mean, my Instagram is not even private, so follow. I follow back. <laughs> um, I usually on my Instagram. I've never actually posted any of my dancing videos on YouTube, I don't know. But I know that, you know, 2018 has been a difficult year because it's a year of basically peeling away the dirt, peeling away everything that is not me so I can be left as that seed be planted again and grow again so um, I'm not even hating on anyone who doesn't like me like <laughs> it's not a thing so um, please carry on watching um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and do not um, follow my journey of growth follow my journey of friendship love interior design singing dancing <laughs> Just, just follow my journey and um, get to know me as me. My full name is Leah Managa. Okay, wait. Let me actually tell you my full name. Kena mati ma Leah Mukivelo Ramaisela Mwatu Musadi Mulogadi Managa. Yes, kiatu <laughs> And I'm a Betty. I'm not very good at the language, but you know what? Those names came from my great great grandmother. Great grandmother, and you know that woman, I loved her. I loved her. I might have met her once, but you know what? The significance of a name is so much, especially when you're named after someone. So I appreciate my name, and um, not all of them mean like they mean so much to me. And I feel like I am growing into the person I want to be and as painful as I feel like it has been so far, I am happy for those people who have stood by me through this journey. I love you all so much um, and I really hope you have an amazing, amazing September. It's finally spring guys. My favorite season, Yasmin, those flowers, yay, bloom, 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 like Mina, bloom, bloom, bloom.